So if you buy used Levi's at thrift stores, one thing you're going to want to do is check to make sure they are not counterfeit. And in this video, I'm going to show you six fast, easy things for you to spot check to make sure the Levi's that you're about to purchase are real and not counterfeit. Okay, the easiest and very first thing that I always check when I find a pair of Levi's is on the top waistband button. In the back of it, there should be a number stamped into it. Now, as you see in this picture, there is a three digit or it can be a four digit number. If you go back into the vintage ones, then you can find single and double digit. If there is not a number and it is plain and has no number stamped into it, then that is an automatic pass and a great sign that the Levi's you are holding are counterfeit. Now, once you see the number there, you want to notice what the number is, and then you're going to look at the interior tag. Now, as you see in the picture, on this vintage pair of Levi's, the tag number from the button, let's take a look at that, was 512. Now, if you look at the tag, you're going to see the first three digits on that line, 512. So that number on the back of the button must match the number on the back of the tag. If that does not match, great sign that they are counterfeit. Now let's look at a more modern pair with a four digit and the ribbon tag compared to the paper tag. Okay, here we have the number is 4001. And if we look at the back of the ribbon tag, you're going to see on the top right corner, 4001. So those numbers match. That's a good indicator that you're dealing with real Levi's. And if you're wondering what those numbers mean, those are actually factory codes for where the jeans were made. Now pop up a shot right now of a list of the factories and the codes. So here's just a quick list if you want to screenshot it or whatever. And that's something you can also verify that the number matches where the factory is. Okay, the third thing to look for and at is the rivets. Levi's will have six rivets on the front. Four on the right side, as you see in this picture, two on the coin pocket, and then two on the corners of the main pocket. And then two rivets on the left-hand pocket, as you see in this picture. So two on the left, four on the right. Now if you go back into the vintage days, some Levi's do not have any rivets. I have a pair from 1974 that I own, and they have no coin pocket and no rivets. Okay, the fourth thing to check is the rivets should be stamped LS & Co. SF for Levi Strauss & Company, San Francisco. Now as you see from this picture, it is stamped on the outside of the rivet and also on the inside of the rivet. So if the inside of the rivet is not stamped and it is plain, like in the picture I'm showing you now, or it is stamped in a different manner other than the LS & Co. SF, then you're dealing with fakes. Fifth thing you can check is the outside rear patch. That should be sewn even with the top of the waistband. So as you see in this picture here, all three of these pairs are evenly stitched right along the top. If they're you know, set down any lower and not even, then you're dealing with a fake. And the sixth thing you can easily check is the arcuate, which is the stitching on the rear pocket. It should be evenly formed, centered, and the one indicator to look for is where the two arches come together at the point. There should be a diamond stitch pattern. And as you can see in this picture, you'll see the little diamond stitch pattern where the two arches come together. Now this is not the end all be all of verification, but these six simple things you can check literally in 30 seconds when you're in the store and holding the jeans in your hand. And that will give you an indicator whether you're dealing with counterfeits or real, and whether to purchase them or not. Hopefully this helped. If 
you have any questions, put them down below. I'd be glad to help you. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.